Hi, my name's Russ, and I'm an intern here at Dickinson College, working for the House Divided Project. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a video using Windows Movie Maker for the PC. So we're here at Windows Movie Maker, and the first thing we're going to do is to upload a video. So we're going to click here, and we're going to find a video that we've already created using a webcam or some other device and double click on it and that uploads the video and now at this point we have lots of options so really you're just going to have to kind of experiment and really see what they are maybe try some of them out but what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple tips that hopefully will help make your video a little bit better so the first thing is we're going to use the trim tool and the trim tool can cut out the first part and the last part of a video if we have um, some excess video that we don't want. So we'll click on the trim tool and then we're going to click on this bar and drag it to just before I start talking. So right about here and then same thing with the last one and then we click save trim so that's going to cut out like I said the excess video that we don't want and then next we're going to try to insert a picture into the video um, for example I at one point I start to talk about Stephen A. Douglas and so we're going to insert a picture at that point um, but the first thing we need to do then is we need to come over here and we need to go to save movie uh, and click on for computer and that'll be in the videos and we need to change this to WMV and click save and this part might take a while so you just have to be patient and then once that's done we are going to upload the audio version of it so we go to home and click add music and then we need to change the setting from audio and music we need to change that to videos so then we see that our video pops up and we can double click on it and that inserts the audio so it's it's going to match up with our video and then we need to click on the video and we need to mute the video portion so that we just have the audio playing and and it'll match up and then to add the picture that we're talking about we need to go down and we need to find where I start talking about Stephen A. Douglas so right about here we need to take note of the time so that's 5 16 13 and then we click on this split button and that's going to separate it from the rest of the video and then we need to find where I stop talking about Stephen A. Douglas. So right about there, and we need to take note also of when I end. So that's 5, 26, 87. And at that point, we need to click split again so that separates this little segment from the rest of our video and so we click on the segment and we click the delete button and that's going to get rid of that and then we can go back to home and we can click on add videos and photos and we're going to find a picture that I've already put of Stephen A. Douglas and double click and it automatically adds the photo to the end so we need to click that and we need to drag it to the middle and now 
we need to figure out how long the duration is. So we said that the end stopped at 526.87 and the beginning was at 516.13. So we need to subtra subtract the beginning from the end and when we do that we come up with 1075 for the duration. So if we double click on the image we can go up and we can uh, click in the box and we can change the duration of the image to exactly what we want and if it works it should um, play the audio while the picture's up and then it should come back and match up with the video so we'll see we'll see if that works here and it does so that adds uh, a nice visual aspect to the video um, and then another thing that I'm going to show you is how to add a caption so if I start to read um, from a document we can click on the caption and it creates a text box and then we can type in whatever we want in the text box and we can drag it to any point, change the font, boldness, um, and we can also make it fade in and out if we want. And so that also is going to add uh, a good visual effect for our video. So those are the two main things that um, we can use here in Windows Movie Maker and like I said the rest um, is really up to you uh, it's good to just kind of experiment around and, and see what what looks good so hopefully that's going to help um, create an interesting video and then once we're done we can come and we can save the video now to save it we have to do to save it to YouTube um, we have to make sure that we save it as a WMV file. So when it says save as type, we need to click on WMV. And then we can type in the title, whatever we want there. And then we can click save. And then we can upload that video from uh, on YouTube but if we just want to save it to the desktop um, we can just come up here click save project as and then type in our title and that's just just gonna save it as a movie maker file so hopefully you found this video helpful and um, you'll be able to use window movie maker as you create your own projects